Florence. So. <laughs> it can get crazy, really, because there's a lot of people, especially here in the Duomo area. But it's just, you're here, so it's good. And uh, we have a wonderful guide. She's wonderful. Venezuelan. Venezuelan guide. Very expressive with her hands. Excellent. She's more expressive than the Italians. Yeah. And? The follies of man should not be equated with the institution of the church. Oh it's my. true. Oh. However, unfortunately, wherever there will be human beings, there will be folly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a great homily. <laughs> That's a great homily. I, I say it this way. When you go to church, think about Jesus Christ exactly. as your center, not Listen, the people around you. Because the people around you will always be broken. Okay, then I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little story. Yeah. And for, sorry for, for my di digression. <clears throat> I had to put to sleep a cat of mine two days ago. Okay, he sorry. had lymphatic cancer and it was all over his body and he was suffering so much and it's, I know it's a tough decision and we are not supposed to take life but I could not bear to see this creature suffering so I went ahead with it. When I went back home with the mixture of spirituality that exists in the world today, I was hoping that this little creature either went to cat paradise or, <laughs> or if he was going to have another life to reincarnate into something beautiful because he deserved it. The problem is that I had another cat that I loved more than I did love Sebastian and so I started to feel very guilty because I didn't give Seba the same amount of love that I give to Sabrina. And then I thought to myself, oh, what about if Seba was the incarnation of my dog? <laughs> because I thought if I knew that it had been Olivia, I would have for sure loved him more. And my mother said to me, that's why Jesus says that when you see a beggar, look at me, see me, don't see the beggar. And if we thought like that, I'm not talking about religion here, I'm talking about what we human beings could do with each other. If, every, if we saw every other person as, a, as somebody special to us, we wouldn't dare to do half of the stuff that we do. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Amen! Copyright, Sandra Perrone Sandra Perrone Flores! Sandra Perrone, gracias a Dios!